Book 2, Chapter 11 That it were unwise to ally yourself with a prince who has reputation rather than strength. To mark the mistake made by the Sidikinians in trusting to the protection of the Campanians, and by the Campanians in supposing themselves able to protect the Sidikinians, Titus Livius could not have expressed himself in apter words than by saying, that the Campanians rather lent their name to the Sidikinians than furnished any substantial aid towards their defense. Here we have to note that alliances with princes who from dwelling at a distance have no facility, or who, from their own embarrassments, or from other causes, have no ability to render aid, afford rather reputation than protection to those who put their trust in them, as was the case in our own times with the Florentines when, in the year 1479, they were attacked by the Pope and the King of Naples. For being friends of the French king, they drew from that friendship more reputation than help. The same would be the case with that prince who should engage in any enterprise in reliance on the Emperor Maximilian, his being one of those friendships which, in the words of our historian, nomin magis quam, praesidium adferent. On this occasion, therefore, the Campanians were misled by imagining themselves stronger than they really were. For often, from defect of judgment, men take upon them to defend others when they have neither skill nor ability to defend themselves, of which we have a further instance in the Tarentines, who, when the Roman and Samnite armies were already drawn up against one another for battle, sent messengers to the Roman consul to acquaint him that they desired peace between the two nations, and would themselves declare war against whichsoever of the two first began hostilities. The consul, laughing at their threats, in the presence of the messengers, ordered the signal for battle to sound, and bade his army advance to meet the enemy, showing the Tarentines by acts rather than words what answer he thought their message deserved. Having spoken in the present chapter of unwise courses followed by princes for defending others, I shall speak in the next of the methods they follow in defending themselves.